feeling the real, it's the next episode. So there's one topic that hasn't been really covered by anybody, or at least I don't know of anything that's been covered, and that's um, soldering batteries. Um, we know that uh, batteries operating uh, temperature is uh, up to 60 degrees Celsius, um, but when we're using a soldering iron that's running at 500 degrees Celsius, is that the sensible thing to do with the battery? I don't know. Um, I know that there's lots of people in the YouTube community that have soldered it and it's been no issue whatsoever, and I'm looking at their videos and thinking yeah it's probably not an issue at all but I think it's worth soldering one typically and then opening it up internally to see how that compares with one uh, that hasn't been soldered uh, most likely it's been spot welded um, so I'd like to run that investigation and share that with you as well so I've got these two batteries here um, they're not the best quality they're below a thousand milliamps so I'm going to use these ones because they're pretty useless to me. But they're clean, nothing wrong with them. They haven't been damaged or deformed. Um, and we'll just solder these up and see what happens. So before soldering it, it's worth checking the voltage just to see if anything happens to the voltage. So 4.11 volts is where it's at. So let's see what happens after we solder it. Okay, now that's soldered, let's just see, as you can see it's soldered there, let's see what it looks like now. So it doesn't have any effect on the voltage, which is a good sign, because I think if we had damaged it internally, something would have happened with the voltage. Okay, using my um, infrared sensor, it's telling me I got 133 degrees on the positive side. It is harder to solve the negative side because it doesn't want to stay liquid, it doesn't want to melt the solder and you do have to leave it on there for some time and that measures uh, mm. 116, I'm sure that's not right, 166, I've got 166 there, um, but it's, it's harder to solder the negative than it is the positive, and the battery has warmed up quite a bit, but that was, um, I was taking the mic there, actually holding on that, holding on too long, it's showing 43 degrees of battery now, um, and as I move further down to where I was soldering, it's about 46 degrees. So that's a bit promising, isn't it? It's not, not over 60 degrees, but it is certainly warm. And I've had a few batteries when I was charging them going up to 90 degrees, which is uh, <laughs> fairly hot. Yeah, I think the next thing is really just cut one up and see what happens. But before I do that, I'm going to basically get rid of all the 
charge in this whatsoever and get, get it down to zero just to be on the safe side. Okay, so I've uh, discharged these batteries. I just put an LED on the end of it and just left it running until it, it's killed itself. Um, so let's just check. That's a soldered one. And I got uh, zero. And that one is 84 millivolts. I doubt very much it's going to blow up in my face. All right, let's get cutting, see what happens. All right, we've got this all set up outside. Uh, it's a sunny day today. Um, I've got myself a porcelain tile there as a flame retardant surface. The Dremel is set up, ready to cut it. I've got some uh, glove protection and eye protection. Oh, sorry, hand protection and eye protection. And I've also got myself a clay pot that's full of water just in case. And we've got plenty of space out here to run away indoors, shut the doors and not think about what's just happened outside, just in case. Okay, let's start with the gloves. Oh. Eye protection. Okay, 18650. You might feel a small prick. Look at that. So I managed to get past the first shell. That's a nice. Yeah, that looks like it looks like it's got two. Ooh. Look at that, that's the core. So that's the one that's soldered. So let's open up the one that's not soldered and compare how that's looking. Compared to the other one. So the one that we soldered is discoloured and the one that we haven't is obviously still looking white. It has a lithium-esque type mm. colour to it. <laughs> right, let's cut it the other way now, see what happens here. That's the steel shell on that one. That's the soldered one. So, uh, look at that. So really, the um, the positive side hasn't been affected at all, but the negative side has discolored. And there's the layers. That's the first layer was a copper layer. So I wonder how it's all layered. Is it is it rolled or is it just a sheet at a time? I think it's gonna be rolled. You reckon? Yeah. It looks rolled, doesn't it? Yep. So it's definitely rolled. There we go. There we go, ladies and germs. So this is consisting of a layer that looks like a copper sheet. And this is a layer of something. I don't know what that is. Anybody want to taste this layer? No way. There's your two layers. 
So one of these has got to be lithium. Well. Mm, Don't feel warm to the touch. This looks like about a foot. Yeah. A foot or more than a foot. <laughs> Way more than foot. That foot and four inches, I think. About 40 centimeters and new money. Anyway, that looks like that's the one that we soldered, and that was the negative side and that side. So let's unravel this one and see if there's a change in color in this one. Okay, so that was very interesting. So at the bottom here is we've got the unsoldered battery and at the top we've got the soldered battery. These are the casings that we have. This is again the unsoldered side and this is the soldered side. If I turn these around, you can see it clearly. Now, I can't see any discoloration on this inside, but there's a, there's a coating on the inside which looks to be some sort of plastic. It's not discolored doesn't look like it's been damaged. The casings as well, if I can figure out, yeah, this is the negative side, that's the positive side. So again, they look about the same. This is the steel core tube in the middle, and that doesn't look like it's been deformed. So that just looks pretty interesting. And these are the layers, I mean, this one's slightly darker in that one, but I don't think that's to do with anything other than its normal wear and tear during the life of that battery. But if you go for each layer, you can see that there is again no changes. This one looks like it's been used and abused, slightly heat damaged, but I think that's again from the life of it. This one looks like it's in a good state. It hasn't been um, damaged, but again, this is the unsoldered side. So I'm, but I'm pretty sure it's not because of um, the heat from the solder. Here's that third layer. That looks remarkably good. Looks new. That's the fourth, third, sorry, is that fourth? Fourth layer. I mean, the only thing I can notice on, on this edge, it seems to be slightly more discolored and warped. Um, so if there is any damage from soldering it's going to be very very acute very very small but I mean I know this is not scientific I can't see any physical damage on this battery so I think I would suggest it is probably safe safe to use but if you were to put your money on it and and play safe the spot weld seems to be better because this was a spot welded battery as you can see from here, there's a few spot welds on the unsoldered side. So the spot weld just would give instant heat and wouldn't damage the internals of the battery. I mean, even the way that this paper is crumpled up and crinkled, it just seems a bit more looser and floppy. This one seems more crinkly and more rigid still. Fresh, maybe that's what comes with this. That's a wet lettuce and that's a crisp lettuce, if you like your lettuce analogies. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good, 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 <laughs> some good research or bad research, but I think for me, it shows up. You have to be careful with soldering at high high temperatures because it it looks to be some sort of um, discoloration in these layers. But I think you can get away with it if you're quick enough. But to be absolutely sure, I would say spot welding is probably better and maybe generally faster. Um, to assemble these packs. Well, thanks for watching this episode. Um, I hope you found it both informative as well as uh, slightly entertaining. Uh, we'll just recap what I've learned on this episode. Um, so it just seemed that soldering the batteries does not seem to corrupt the charge state, um, but obviously a prolonged heat exposure could affect the internal, internal chemical state. But um, I would say that being a, a dry construction, it seems that any damage could be minimal.
Even though it does seem safe to uh, solder the batteries, I would still probably recommend using a spot welder. If I ever was going to so uh, solder the batteries, and I probably would, I'd use a high powered soldering iron. And in doing so, I would feel that the heat would stay localized and therefore there would be little chance of the whole battery getting very hot. Well, thanks for watching this episode. Do feel free to uh, share, like, and even comment on the video. Um, join me in the next one where we'll be looking to repurpose some of these batteries and do a little mini project.